Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. There is an old expression I grew up hearing from my mother, and it goes like this. Association brings about assimilation, which means you act like those you associate with. You take on their behavioral patterns. You take on their speech patterns, their style of dress, their, their lifestyle. I mean, even their standards and values, whether they're high or low, you take them on. And you don't realize that when you do that, those are also the kind of people you attract. So when you are ready for a change and you're ready to grow up and mature a little bit and you're still hanging with the people, guess what? So much of them has rubbed off on you that even when you are trying to shake yourself loose, they st you find those same types of people being attracted to you down through the years. And you wonder, what is on my forehead that makes me draw that kind of person? I'm tired of being that. I don't want to be that anymore. But for some reason, that's what I draw. Even though I'm changing and I'm growing, what's up with that? Well, the other expression my mother used to use was, you lay down with dogs, you get up with fleas. There's always residue from people you hang with. Now, either it's going to be positive and productive, or it will be negative and self-destructive or, or undermining or sabotaging in a lot of ways. There are people that you've associated with that when something gets on their nerves, they want to confront. Very confrontational. Uh, excuse me, what are you looking at? Oh, I don't think so. You got a problem with me? Spit it out, buddy. You know, or you get someone else and they're like, I don't know what she's looking at she's so weird i don't like weird people she's a nerd you know and you get these attitudes and you begin to incorporate these silly little attitudes into your own mechanism input output you lay down with dogs you get up with fleas fleas don't leave when you're ready for them to go they have made themselves quite at home and comfortable with you. So you're not going to get rid of things that you have invited into your life, that you have allowed to remain, and think that because you're ready to shake it off like a dog shakes, that all the fleas are going to go. The fleas are not going to flee. The fleas are going to stay. And you've got to go through some serious effort to get rid of those bad boys and bad girls. So, I just say this as a warning to you. If you are ready to move up to a higher level, don't hang on the ground with turkeys when your desire is to fly with eagles now. As long as you're on the ground with turkeys, they will do everything in the world to undermine your desire and ability to fly. They will also try to undermine your connection with the eagles because they know once you fly you leave them crabs in a the barrel they see you climbing out they pull you back down it's the nature of the crab so watch who you hang with watch who you associate with and when you see the types of people that are coming into your life and you're turned off by it, stand in front of the mirror and ask yourself, what have I done to draw that? There's something, some signal you're putting out that is making them feel quite at home with you. It's a reassessment time, time to grow. Time to go, time to fly, time to move up high.
happy flying.